guys, so after falling in love with the way that Gorilla Snot Gel keeps my baby hairs down and in place all day, I decided to use it on my eyebrows. So the first thing that I do is put some of that Gorilla Snot Gel on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's very sticky, so I'm going to take a little bit of that and just place it on the other side of my hand. Get some water and make sure that you dilute the Gorilla Snot because you don't want it turning white on your eyebrows. Mix that up, and as you can see, it's thinner on the left side. And that is where I'm going to take my wet spoolie brush and just roll it into that Gorilla Snot Gel. I got this spoolie brush for $1 at my local beauty supply store, but you can use a mascara wand, an old one, and clean it off before doing this process. I'm basically just combing or brushing those hairs straight up because I want these eyebrows to be thick and natural looking. Taking that Gorilla Snot Gel and doing these same steps for the other eyebrow. As you can see, I'm placing it, putting water on it, and then moving my spoolie brush around the Gorilla Snot Gel before combing my eyebrow hairs up. So this is how it looks with only Gorilla Snot Gel. As you can see, it's doing a great job at leaving those eyebrow hairs standing straight up. You can just stop here or you can go on like I do and just fill in the eyebrows with a pomade. I am using a dip brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills to fill in my eyebrows. I know everyone is obsessed with soap brows and feathered brows and that's a huge, huge, huge trend this year, but the soap brows ain't work for me. Gorilla Snot Gel does an amazing job at keeping my eyebrows looking full and keeping them thick all day. It keeps these eyebrow hairs in place and I'm just obsessed with this way of doing my eyebrows. It completely cuts, cuts my eyebrow makeup time in half. Literally used to take me 15 minutes to do my eyebrows before, now it just takes me about five. Quick tip, if you're using a retractable eyebrow pencil to get very thin and defined hair strokes, you will have to basically sharpen that retractable pencil. I will take a paper towel and take that pencil and just sharpen it on there by rubbing it against the paper towel. Now I'm just cleaning up the bottom of my eyebrows with a concealer. This step is completely optional, but I like to go ahead and get that bottom line a little bit straighter. I do not bother with concealing the top of the eyebrow, just the bottom. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Please check down below in the description box and please turn on your notifications and subscribe if you have not already. I love you all and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.